Hey guys, welcome back to another Cinema Scumbags movie night. Uh, I think the last one we did was around Christmas time. So it's been a while since we've done one of these. Uh, they're really fun to do. And if you guys are new to the channel, the way it works is uh, we all picked a movie um, according to a certain theme, which I'll talk about in a second. Yeah, we all just kind of do five minute clips um, showing the movie. It's like a mini movie night for each of us. And so for this one, we figured since baseball season is right around the corner, we decided to do a baseball themed movie night. Oh, for any of you guys that know me or know this channel, you know how much I am a uh, sports enthusiast. <laughs> you know, I'm not a huge sports fan, uh, but in order to get myself prepped for this, myself in the mood, I had to get myself amped. I decided to take it to the cages. Let's get our batting practice on. Baseball. Seth said to put your elbows up. Man, I love baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Not as bad as I thought I was gonna do. I think I'm gonna stick to music and movies. Hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, me making a fool out of myself. Uh, but anyway, for the actual movie, I thought I owned this film, but I guess I didn't. Um, so it's on Netflix. Uh, we're gonna be watching. The most girliest uh, baseball movie that I know of. Um, it's, it's fitting, I guess, but uh, A League of Their Own. Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, Madonna, and Rosie O'Donnell. Uh, Penny Marshall directed it. Penny, yeah, Penny Marshall. Seth. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, let's crack into this movie. Let's get it started. Let's celebrate baseball. And usually I always have something to eat when I'm going to watch a movie, but today it's so hot out in California, I had to get Sonic. Um, they, okay, I didn't ask for the size, by the way. They, uh, they fucked up and they gave me the size. Uh, it's the, um, it's a cherry slush with Jolly Ranchers inside. So diabetes with diabetes inside. With the little tassels? Gonna drink, gonna drink this? Wanna watch the movie? Hans Zimmer did this shit? Right off the back of the music is a little dated. <laughs> Look at Madonna, that whore. Some pretty good ball players here. You only give them a little bit of your ball players. I haven't got ball players. I've got girls. Girls want to sleep with after the game. I don't know what your coach during the game. Who? <laughs> It's like I'm fucking in Toy Story with this music. Alright guys, so I just finished A League of Their Own. Uh, man, you know, I forgot how good good of movie it is. Uh, it's a pretty decent flick. Um, there, there's some heart in there. Yeah, I mean, Tom Hanks, always good in it. Gina Davis, fucking one of her best roles. Like I said before, Rosie O'Donnell and Madonna give fucking pretty good performances, so I can tolerate her. Both of them. So thanks guys again for watching my segment. Nick D's up next. So Nick, what you got? 
What is up guys, Nick D back for the Scumbags movie night. Great shit, Matt. Batting cage clip, fucking classic. Uh, go cards, cause it's, you know, baseball season. I love sports. For this movie night, I'm gonna be drinking some brew, Bud Light, yes. But, uh, gonna be watching the classic. The Sandlot, one of, uh, probably the greatest sports movies ever made. I'd go as far as to say one of the greatest movies ever made. You have all the, all the fucking grade A 90s actors here. You got Mike Vitar, Patrick Renna, Chauncey Lapardi, Tom Geary. The Sandlot is about Smalls who moves to a new town. He's like the new kid. Not very athletic. And kind of a smarter kid. Stays inside. His mom wants him to get outside and get into trouble. But uh, yeah, he ends up meeting the baseball prodigy, Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Pretty much make history in one of the greatest coming of age movies ever made. Uh, probably easily my favorite kids movie from the 90s. Um, it's just never gets old. Seen it over a hundred times, uh, watch it a hundred more. Sandlot, let's fucking get into it. Oh, the feels. kid named Benjamin Franklin Rodriguez became a neighborhood legend. It was in my the boys. great summer of my life, lousy way to end up the fifth grade, because I had zip time to make friends before zip summer. Zip time? Get the fuck out my of the house this year, kid. Died when I was just a little kid. Oh, that's My sad. mom had married Bill. Bill? Dad? Dad? Bill? I, I mean Bill. <laughs> Kids a spook. I would never do this. Once after school. Whoa! Whoa. Watch out! <laughs> Watch out! Yeah! It's totally uh, Seth playing baseball. <laughs> the biggest hat in the history of fucking film, right here. Hey, uh, Matt, you want to throw this to the ball? Okay, thanks. How many mothers do you know who say something like that to their sons? <laughs> None mothers, I guess. None mothers, I guess. What should make some? Based on just the naked. <laughs> uh, Bill? Bill? Uh, yeah. I mean, Dad. I mean, uh, Dad, uh, Bill? Uh, can we, I mean... Can we, um, uh, uh... Could you? Oh, my God. Doesn't look too far off, Tom. Why don't you go headbutt some more cops? They're all sitting here, you know? Who the fuck is that in the raccoon hat? God, how I love this fucking movie. It's so timeless. Probably one of the greatest kids movies ever. Yeah, I had to grab some grub. We barbecued earlier today, so yeah. Some of the Darden famous chicken chunks. Oh, it's so fire. I love how this is like one of those movies you don't really have to be a fan of baseball to appreciate. It's just so well done. Like, uh, this is like the Goonies of baseball movies. Fucking rules. Uh, but yeah, I'm about halfway through it, so let's keep going. We gotta buy us a ball. So classic. Used to act this scene out all the time as a child. So fucking badass. Still holds up. They used to crowd the plate so that the strike zone almost disappeared. Peer. Pitch used to hate that. That's the way I. The jet stole home. Oh my god. Sandlot. Blah. Masterpiece. Feels, but uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys have all seen this. If you haven't, run out and fucking watch this. Amazing. Next up, we got my boy, Filmy's Nick. So, saw, dude. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. 
cow. Buy me some peanuts and crackers, Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Great choice, Nick D. And Matt, those swings. Perfect form. Good for you, buddy. It's time for my segment. I am an avid Phillies fan. I have been for most of my life, at least since around 2004 when I could start to comprehend what sports were. Happy opening day to you if you care enough about baseball. Oh, oh I just threw out my elbow. Tommy John surgery. I'm going to be watching Angels in the outfield. Maybe one day this will get a Blu-ray release. Between that <clears throat> or Rookie of the Year, but I picked the one who had the star who still has a career going on. It's actually a really good film. I feel like of all the 90s movies I've watched recently from my childhood, this one is probably the best as far as story. It's got a lot of real social issues going on in it. A lot of parental issues. Why don't we take a swing into this one, shall we? Oh, shit. Let's do some angel red. Um, no, you know what? Let's do some blue. They're not so much red in this film like they are in real life, but we'll, we'll do some blue. Looks good. This whole score is one of the more underrated ones. Dude. Oh! This is why you don't buy DVDs anymore. Look at this aspect ratio. You're 11? I wanna go to the game they could win. It could happen. I won't because there were angels out there. Huh? Blue ones, I saw them. Two angels came out of the sky and they picked up their balloons. And another angel hit Mesmer's home run. That's why the bat broke. Great. A psycho kid. David, you think they screen these people? <laughs> Just starting out the team, I'd say they look a little bouncier today, wouldn't you, Wally? Absolutely, Ranch. As we saw in last game, keep it minimal, Wally, they'll like you better. J.O. Sanders playing another sports scumbag. Long gone are the days where you could just go outside and play baseball with some friends. What a great motivational speech, George. This scene is chills. That's that for my segment. Uh, a great baseball film. Surprisingly, I still enjoy it as much as I did. It's not a big green where I just realized how crappy it is nowadays. I actually still enjoy it a lot. Thank you guys for watching so far. Next up is Seth. Let's see what the big guys got. Thank you, filmies. Appreciate it, man. And uh, Matt, those were some, uh, some real nice cuts, man. So I gotta say guys, aside from October, which is my favorite time of year, the one day that I really look forward to the most is uh, opening day for Major League Baseball. I personally am a huge sports fan, a big baseball fan. Baseball is easily my, uh, my favorite sport. Played it for years. I'm a New York Yankees fan. Got the, got the hat on, wearing the uh, Jacoby Ellsbury shirt. 
let the comments flow in. I, I, I know the, uh, the heat the Yankees attract, but it, it, it's all good. It's all part of it. You know, it's just a good time of year, especially here, you know, Midwest, long winter. You're always really relieved to get to spring. But uh, I also love to watch these great baseball movies. You know, it's something I always look forward to each year. The one that I'm going to be watching for uh, this movie now is actually one of my uh, favorite films of all time. It, uh, it's number three on my list of all-time favorites. Watched it countless times. That is Field of Dreams, 1989. You know, Kevin Costner. Look at that cover art. Not sure what's going on with his pose there, but uh, great movie. Um, grew up watching this. You know, uh, this is actually like one of five movies ever filmed in Iowa. The locations for this film are uh, roughly like an hour away from, you know, the house in the field. I've been there a few times, so it's uh, it's pretty cool. You know, it's a local movie. It's, uh, it's one of the few films that really shows Iowa, you know, love. So um, it's great. Holds up. I watch it all the time. It's been a while, though. I don't think I've seen it since last year at this time. So I'm about due for a, another watch. Feel the dreams. Oh yeah, and I took a little break from my MLB The Show to uh, work on this movie night here. So much fun. Love this game. Road to the show mode. You uh, create a player, take him through the uh, minor leagues, and eventually, you know, if you're good enough, you get called up to the bigs. Look at those stats. 335, 16 home runs, 36 RBIs, zero stolen bases. That would be about accurate. Beast, baby, beast! Great score from James Horner in this one. Uh, this is probably my favorite movie score of all time. I was really sad about James Horner. And even if you haven't seen this movie, you know this uh, iconic line that kicks it off. Everyone's heard it. Break and sell. So Jack. Chills, baby. Chills. You've changed. You know this? Yes, I suppose I have. How about this? Peace, love, dope. Now get the hell out of here! <laughs> I fucking love James Earl Jones, man. Uh, again, you know, I know people think of him from other things, uh, Star Wars or whatever, but when I see James Earl Jones, I think of Terrence Mann and Field of Dreams. He's, uh, he's freaking great. Initially, he's such a prick, you know, but it's, it's comedy. The great uh, Frank Whaley, you might know him from uh, Pulp Fiction. He's been in some other things. I'm Ray Kinsella. This is Terrence Mann. Hi. I'm Archie Grant. Oh, listen to that music. James Horner, you fucking legend. You turn your daughter into a damn spitzer hand, so I'll cry it out, you damn it! <laughs> That's not supposed to be funny. That's supposed to be a very tragic, uh, scary point in the film, but it's comedy. Hey, Dad? You want to have a catch? All right, guys, just got done with Feel the Dreams. Man, so good. It's one of those movies, you know, it's hard to, if you have any sort of emotion, it's hard to not get that lump in your throat at the end, you know. Hey, Dad, want to have a catch? I mean, classic film. I don't know, this is just something else. I mean, it's definitely a fantasy film. There's nothing realistic about what's going on in this, but um, it's it doesn't ever come off as cheesy, you know. Like I said, you know, one of my all-time favorites. Love it. It's always a great way to uh, kick off baseball season. Please let me know down below if you're a fan of Feel the Dreams. I know I can't be the only one. It is a masterpiece. That being said, guys, I speak for uh, Matt, Nick, D, and Filmies when I say that we really appreciate you guys checking out this movie night. Um, these are always fun to do, and I know you guys seem to like them, so there will be more of these in the future. You know, we like doing these kind of uh, themed movie nights or based around an event or something where there's kind of a, you know, rhyme and reason to it all, but they are very fun, and thank you guys for watching so much um follow us all the social media if you haven't we're on twitter instagram facebook at cinema scumbags check out the podcast on itunes if you know you just want to listen in your car or something and you want to download it right to your phone it's on itunes every week you guys are the greatest leave your comments down below let us know what you think of any of these movies and tell us what your favorite baseball film is love hearing from you guys thanks for watching go yankees and as always see you later peace